back with Skid Row and the Headbangers Ball, and not only do they have Roadkill, which uh, we're gonna watch. Let's watch. Well, let's watch a little bit. Oh part of it. man! No frills. <laughs> <laughs> let's see which one they spent the big money on. Well, you know what? This video here contains something that has not been seen on MTV in like two years. Our band. <laughs> so that <laughs> is the reason. <laughs> That, that was very reason, good. That is the reason we decided to put out a video compilation of all the songs on Slave to the Grind and uh, Besides Ourselves. Beside Ourselves. Beside we don't ourselves. even know the name of our own. It's been so long since <laughs> we've seen any of it. Right, I know. So, buy it. Buy okay, well, right it. now, let's take a look at some live stuff from uh, Skid Row that's on Roadkill, right? What are we going to watch right now? This is a little uh, happy clip called Mud Kicker. Let's watch some of it, shall we? Shall we? How about that, huh? Very cool. New Roadkill, Skid Row out in your stores with two 3D glasses with 3D that actually works. I tried it. I'm going to take this home, and, uh, and next week I'll tell you what I think about this video when Baz is in here. <laughs> but uh, I like the 3D. I mean, actually, this is very, very cool stuff. Thanks. And No Frills is, let me just see this real quick. No Frills has just got basically all the stuff from Quicksand Jesus to Monkey Business to and also In a Darkened Room. Unreleased. Yeah, that's what we're just going to say. Unreleased. Only in Europe, only in a darkened room. Also on Roadkill, there's some covers on it. Yeah. Delivering the Goods, With Cold Gin. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Special guest stars abound. Okay. So, Skid Row, let's make a little prediction when you think we're going to get some new stuff. Well, at this rate... In 94. Yeah, but he's meant the whole album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at so this rate, we got, like, um, a couple things, you know, going. So, if, you know, if we average at the rate we're going, we're looking at a, a 97 release date. Yeah, late 97. <laughs> no, we'll do it, at, you know, when it's done. When it's done is when it'll come out. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by again. Roadkill is out in your stores. No Frills is out in your stores. New Skid Row stuff, including two 3D glasses, 3D that does work. Then keep these in good condition for 1997 when Skid Row finally goes out on the road. That's right. And then you can wear it, and it'll be just like they're really there. And it's nice. It says right here, this side toward base. Right. Just in case people were, like, putting it on like this or putting it on like that. Ricky, what and you never know. before I go? Yes. we got a new video out called Road Kill. No. I swear to God, it's right here. Hey, we're going to play Ministry right now. I like this. This is just one fix. Ricky likes this. Stay right there. Don't move. Or else, no chips or beer. We didn't write these songs for a record company person to go, that's a hit or that's a hit or that's a hit. We wrote the songs and we put those particular 11 songs on a record because those were the songs that we liked the best. I think my favorite is uh, Here I Am, A Piece of Me. Get a piece of me. Hey, you just blew a snot on me. No, I didn't. You did too. Not anymore. <laughs> Hi, Lori. This is Lori Manzano, our sound man's wife. Just say a few words. Uh, Hi, words. nice to meet you. This is Lori's favorite hangout spot. Okay. Is this on? Tell, tell everyone how much of a Skid Row fan you are. I'm a very good friend. They pay me a dollar a week. You guys are like on, as you told me the other day, shows two ninety nine and three hundred for this thing Absolutely. tonight. Absolutely, and then we're done. We're out of here. We're home on the couch. I'm looking at pictures of Skid Row, but all and right. I was. Is there any pictures of you in there? Is there any pictures of me in here? There's never pictures of me in here. They're all of Sebastian. See? Woo! Can you see this one? Pretty good looking, huh? That's cool. He's all right. I do them. We got to stop now, so. 
Motley Crue celebrated their long-delayed return to the stage with an instrument-wrecking finale of a sort probably unseen since the heyday of the Who. And Nicky just shredded, man. They slaughtered. You always throw the bands that get their gear for free. Yeah. They're the ones that smash it. Well, all this year, like we have been, you know, depending on how long my voice holds out, but, uh, you know, we'll always keep doing that and retaining that street level enthusiasm that we had when we started out. And we'll be doing that in the second album, and the third album, and the fourth album, because that's what rock and roll is all about. It ain't about, you know, playing Giant Stadium every night. I mean, that's like a dream come true. But that's really, that's like way bigger than anything that any of us ever imagined we'd ever do. So we're always going to, you know, be playing. Plus, you get free beer. So uh, what are we going to talk about? Well, first, I guess we should talk about touring England with Motley Crue, uh, which was a fun thing. So we toured England with Motley Crue in October. And Europe. Europe. Which was a fun thing. And then we played uh, a headlining show uh, at the Hammersmith Odeon, which we sold out in seven days, which was kind of a record, but who cares? Well, um, we don't want to talk about that. No. And at the end of the night, it was a fabulous thing. Who did we jam with? Let me stand up. Be quiet! What do you think this is? The holiday? Steve <laughs> Harris. Steve yeah. Harris and Nico oh, yeah. McDrummer. Uh, Nico McDrummer and Steve Harris. <laughs> From Iron Maiden. <laughs> and then uh Thanks for clarifying that. And then at the end <laughs> And then at the end of the night we got Lammy up there to do train kept a rolling. She sang with ultimate finesse. It was very, very beautiful. I like the bass solo. What does it sound like? Rachel? Rachel. Drink of rolling all night long. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. So with that, here's the first video today. The chase is better than the catch. You know. Your friends because they give us free t-shirts. Uh, no, Pete Dove and the rest of the guys. They went and played a really, really good set down at Rock and Roll Heaven. Who's there? Snake, you went. Remember that time Rob got his hemorrhoid operated on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scotty. Scotty, you were. <laughs> yeah. Kind of looked like you. Yeah. Okay. In Scotty, all honesty, they were really good. Really Scotty, good. you went down to the performance? Yeah, I was there. I had a lot of fun, guys. Thanks for the free beer in the dressing room, eh? And uh, <laughs> smoked. Five years ago, there was a million bands that never made it out of Toronto. It was a real bummer. Harlot, Kid Wicked, uh, Rue Morgue, Galleon, Jade, Titan, a million bands that never made it. Which is a real drag, but uh, the Throbs, who are now in New York. But um, <clears throat> it was a real bummer, but such is life, such is rock and roll. You win some, you lose some. It's real good to see an original band coming out of Toronto exactly. again. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, this clone band stuff is garbage. Buy your Meat magazine, support Drew and what he's trying to do. Original music, it's the only way to go. You might as well listen to a jukebox, you know, if you want a clone band. But except for runs in your hoses. I'm also friend. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, in memory of the Toronto heavy metal scene four or five years ago, this is Hanoi Rocks, Don't You Ever Leave Me. It's a whole level of brain thought. <laughs> um, Scotty, what do you think of rock videos in general? I don't, I don't watch them. <laughs> Rob, what do you think? I'm just okay, what do you think? <laughs> what do I think about rock videos? Go ahead, ask Rachel. What do you think of them? Uh, um, I don't know. I think rock videos are neat. I'd rather see a... Uh... <laughs> I'd rather see. Uh, <laughs> I'd, ra I'd rather see the love in an elevator video with a whole video. bunch of. I'd rather see, I'd the, rather see the. Here, hold this a second. I'd, I'd, see ya. I'd rather see the love in an elevator video with a whole bunch of good-looking women than uh, Ceausescu's face in Romania, sheet white, dead, staring at me while I'm eating dinner. <laughs> you tell <laughs> me which is dead, more. Wasn't he? he was dead, Ooh, man. I didn't dude see was that. dead. He was cold. Who was it? Who's that dude in Romania that got dead? <laughs> that got dead. But um. He's still dead? He is still dead. Um, he's coming back from the dead. He's going to get a band together. But you know what I'm saying? Like, video, video stations like MTV and Much Music provide an incredible thing for you, the home viewer. But censorship of any form or any way, it's not happening. you got to admit. 
I mean, read George Orwell, 1984. It's a bummer. And uh, that's all I got to say. Rock out. And hey, what video are we going into now? What's your favorite video? Uh, I have favorite, a lot of them. Our favorite video, Dad. Oh, did we give you a I, list? I think the, uh, the thing closest to Youth Gone Wild video here is the uh, same kind of vibe is My Way with Sid Vicious. The lows, but I don't want to start crying. So, um, Scotty Hill, what was your personal high of this year? Personal high? I'd say probably the Giant Stadium gig and the Milton Keynes gig. Where's Milton? And, uh, Where's Milton Keynes? Milton Keynes? It's, uh, it's Milton Berle's brother. He lives <laughs> over in England, you know? Okay, now Rob, when someone is asking you what are your favorite memories of the past year, how does one respond? I have to say uh, one of my favorite okay, memories. Okay, Rachel, <laughs> um, when someone asks you... <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I have to say one of the best memories was watching Scotty puke on the Russian floor in the in the hotel room. Yeah, that was great. That was, but uh, that was one of my lows. One of my lows. <laughs> I'd have to say the uh, Giant Stadium gig. CNE was pretty cool though. Yeah, that's very that's very patriotic of you, Rob. Yeah. Okay, I'd have to say for me a personal high was when uh, I was nominated for a Toronto Music Vocalist of the Year award and I didn't win, but Kim Mitchell won and said some really cool things about me, which he didn't really have to say. It's very cool. It's almost better than winning. That was like a personal high. But he doesn't know you. That's right. That's why it's so cool, Rob, you dingbat. <laughs> Okay, Rachel, what were some of your personal highs for this year? Well, when I got nominated for the Best Vocalist of the Year in the Toronto Music Awards, but I didn't personally get it, but Kim Mitchell said some nice things about me, so. <laughs> okay, okay, so what do you got to say? <laughs> that's a beautiful zit. Thank you. Okay, so that's it, and what video are we going into now? Rush, Farewell to Kings. Yeah. Probably pretty uncertain, I'd imagine. As that. of this moment, yeah. but let's just pretend yeah. that it isn't. No, uh, I don't know. We never even think about it, actually, about what's going to happen next record or next whatever, you know? All I know is that we're going to take, like, a six or seven months off and screw around. <laughs> Do nothing. Write a couple That'll songs. People say that, uh, wait, wait, man, you're getting off of March. Are you going to do some traveling? <laughs> <laughs> No. no, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna travel from my kitchen with a bud in my hand to my living room with my flicker and watch the Brady Bunch for seven months. Yeah. That's where I'm traveling. What about you, Scott? Uh, I, I don't watch music videos. <laughs> I don't watch videos. You don't wanna know. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Dirt bike riding, gambling. Play pool. Play pool? Get this thing right Okay. Here. So there you have it. Rachel, what are you going to do? Other bags. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, uh, uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably do the old uh, zone out in front of the tube thing yeah. myself. That's where it, it's, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Some good inspiration. <laughs> okay, then. Well, uh, okay, then. Wait, wait. no, let's do it a great way, North. This is, uh, <laughs> this show is going to be about, like, economics, which is when you have, like, too many empties and not enough room on a truck. Okay, okay, so this is Bob, I'm, this is my brother Doug, and we'll be seeing ya. Hey. Let's get roll. <laughs> See ya. Remember way, way back uh, when we were in my basement uh, rehearsing for this album, and we were just <clears throat> discussing how that would be a, a great, great bill, you know, two of the heaviest bands around right now. And uh, and then when I found out it was happening, I was like, right on. <laughs> I know if I was if I was out buying tickets for a show, I mean, I would I would work every day, mow as many lawns as I could. We didn't find out until like the very last minute, yeah, no for sure, knows. for sure whether it was going to happen, because nobody was really sure if it was going to happen. Those guys <clears throat> knew all the time, you know, but nobody would tell us. So, <laughs> when, know. well, you know, I mean, my mom knows more about this band than I do. But it's kind of one of those things where we just take it day by day. I mean, we're really, ha we're really happy where we're at right now. I mean, 
how could you not be after what you just saw out there, you know? Right. And we're, up, we're able to go up there and do it every night, and we have a blast. Thank you. But, you know, people talk about, like, oh, we'd play if there was two million or two people, you know. But for some bands, that really is the case. We don't care if we're opening up or headlining or we get this dressing room or this guy gets this color pass. Right. You know, that's not why we're up there. We're up there to play as hard and as heavy as we